We regulate any stealing of his property. We're damn good, too. But you can't be any geek off the street. Gotta be handy with the steel, if you know what I mean. Earn your keys. Regulators! Mount up. Hey up troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, I'm Lit and this is Fortnite Save the World and what I want to check out today is First Shot Real. Loads of people ask me who my favourite hero is in Fortnite Save the World. I've had it in the last couple of videos, people asking me that and in the Discord and it's definitely First Shot Real. Now that doesn't mean she's the best hero in the game, just the favourite one, the one I like to use. So what I'd like to know in the comments down below, who's your go-to hero? Who's the one, if you're just having a normal play session, just playing Save the World, not to grind, uh, you know, specific things out so you've got to use, you know, uh, AC or anyone like that. I mean, just who you want to just use, who's like your favorite character, who's your go-to character. Let me know in the comments down below because I would absolutely love to know that. Now, the reason that I like First Shot Rio so much is just because you've got advanced tactics, which you're supposed to have. She's got an extended war cry on there. I'm not going to go over every skill on here. Locked and reloaded. So after reloading, rate of fire is increased by 25% for five seconds. You've got practiced in combat, so increases the duration of war cry, which we just talked about there. She's got the frag grenades on there as well. First assault. Now, this is a cool one. So the first bullet fired after reloading an assault rifle critically hits enemies, which is pretty cool. Now, that removes on weapon switch in a pinch, so increases the weapon reload speed by 35% if the magazine is empty. So if you've got her and carbide mixed in, she can just reload super fast. And if you've got reload on the weapon as well, the reload is it, it, just insane. How quick she can actually get a clip back into the weapon. You've also got on there padlocks and reloaded, so increases the rate of fire from locked and reloaded to 50%. So she's now firing 50% faster just for that few seconds once she's reloaded. So you actually want her to have a short clip and something that she's reloading very, very often. You've also got shockwave on there for a little bit of crowd control. She's not quite got the crowd control that some others have got, and I compensate that by using shockwave and also by using the uh, double agent as well because you get the cluster bombs as well with that. You've got kneecapper, so she's got the increased debilitating shots, a lot like the urban assault there. And then you've got blitz as well. So she moves 25% faster and gains energy 10% quicker for the duration of Warcry. So reloads to get large initial hit of damage, then follows up with a high rate of fire, which is absolutely phenomenal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump into a mission just to see, just to show, kind of show off what she's like and why she is my favorite. But guys, don't forget to comment down below. I want to know who your favorites are. That's kind of the purpose of this video is to actually find out who your favorite heroes are. Now, I have got the mission to get the... Do you know what I've not done yet? I've not done the mission to get the uh, Mythic Survivors. However, I've got no, like, people mission down here. So let's do an encampments mission. Or should we do an Atlas mission? Oh, this, the decisions. Got to deliver the bomb over there for schematic XP. Um, do you know what? We're going to do a... We're going to do a... Yeah, let's do a single Atlas. We did encampments yesterday. Okay, then, guys. So let's jump in and just see how First Shot Rio holds up in combat. Now, the weapons we're going to use, and I've got th uh, three, obviously, because that's what you bring in. You've got the Silent Spectre on the first weapon. Now, it has got a higher magazine size, this one, so it's not absolutely ideal. So, if we go onto this here, look, I've got the 75% magazine size, which I don't really want. I would actually prefer to have on there uh, reload speed, but I do use this for Urban Assault. This Silent Spectre is from Urban Assault, so it's not really made for this character. But look how fast this just melts. And look, see the quick reload speed there? This is a good test, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Quick reload speed and just get that there. And the initial fire after the reload look, critical hit. Perfect. And that's why she's so much fun to play. The death stalk is good as well for longer range. So if you're going to fire at range like this look, then what you've got on there, these little bursts like so, reloads quick and then it's back as quick as that. Okay, so I need jukeboxes then for the quest. Target We're still making that drummer. For those of you that watched yesterday. While drum machines just play loops and beats, Beatbot is learning from every drummer we introduce him to. He's not just learning rhythm, he's learning the essence of rock and roll. Isn't that right, Beatbot? <laughs> the essence what of rock that? and roll. Target located. You see how quick that took down that blaster as well? So the blaster's like super effective with first shot reel Our as well. Challenge is now available. Look, another one there. So you just get on the headshots, quick reload. And it doesn't matter what you don't want to be doing, which I'm going to do now on purpose, just to show you guys. But if you're running around now, you don't want to be doing this. Just reloading like so. That's just so annoying, as I said. It's not going to work. And you've just lost a load of bonuses there. You've lost the rate of fire, and you've also lost the crit damage as well. So you may as well keep on. Right, we've got another jukebox in here. I do love the canny dialogue at the moment. I'm so enjoying it right now. Okay, was that the last one that we needed? Good find. 
Nope, okay, we need formal. Okay, you're not gonna like this next part. But if you want to be a good drummer, you're gonna need to endure some psychological terror. I didn't make the rule. Movies made the rule. So, I reprogrammed one of our backup C-bots. And he's ready to lead Beatbot on a harrowing journey of drumming! From the top, this time do it right. Okay, looks like we're starting early then. <laughs> but okay, so look, from this range, then we go Deathstalker. It's brilliant for the little ones. Now, it's not so much, it's not so good against like smashes and things like that. But look how quick that reload is. So fast. Now, this is where you've got the crowd control there. Ha! Gotta remember it's Z for the, the buttons different for the shockwave for this character. So that's one I always forget. Okay, we've got a few coming in here. So look, the Silent Spectre is great for like close up because you're not always going to need, you're not always going to need like the range on that. So if we get this here, look, we'll put the things up. It's just so quick and the reload's so fast. It's just nuts. Now if you pop Warcry as well, now you're just a machine of death. And the Warcry lasts a little bit longer on this character than it does on most. You've got the five seconds extra. And if you use her in a support slot, she works even, you know, she actually gives the Warcry of the hero that you're using a little bit longer as well. So look, so look at this blaster over here. So fast. Down. You've got to be quite precise with it. There we go. So we've got a little bit of crowd control there. It's nothing major, but it's good. We got that one down before Jess even got there that time. All right, so Deathstalker there then. So look, target on the blasters, quick reload, perfect. Quick reload. It's just so much fun, as I said, watching her do that. Oh yeah, do you know, she's just, by, for me, just by far the most fun hero right now. I think this is like, do you know, for those of you that like snipers in games, do you know, for those of you that play like sniper characters in Battlefield and things like that, then this is one you're gonna really enjoy. Look, next blaster. Awesome. I'll go over the guns at the end as well so you guys can see a little bit more clearly. There's a bee dude there. We are getting bumped by that uh by the other levels here. But I'm actually level 72 and we're just smashing these guys down now. So look, pop war cry. Just to show you guys. The damage is insane. And I'll have all these hopefully gone before they even get to me. <laughs> husky husk over there. You can fire the Deathstalker from the hip. It's actually quite viable. In that sense, it's just not as accurate that way. Let's put a grenade in there. Oh my days. Alright, let's just clear them out with the shockwave. Easier. Wow, alright. 58 seconds on Warcry as well, so that'll be down in no time at all. Alright, thought I had the shockwave, but I don't. Grenade. Okay, we're back, we're back. <laughs> alright, we got these. Put a grenade on the floor there. And we got the cluster bomb as well. So that's always going to work out really good for us. Take him down. Absolutely. You know, just so much fun. <laughs> oh my god. This is quite an intense defense. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, we've got some Mavises up here. Oh, jukebox. Okay, go, 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 go. Through the fire, through the flames. You know, we've got to get that. Is Ray really going to do the dialogue now? Checking on beatbox training. Okay, I'm not going to kill you with a pickaxe. You wow. Are a <laughs> you are a failure. Nice. Are unorthodox, but he's supposedly the best. Okay, Deathstalker back on. And what you don't want to be doing is hitting the reload key all the time. You want it to kind of do that organically. Melts, melts, melts. But yeah, by far. And do you know what as well? First Shot Rio looks the best. So that's another Wait reason to play First Shot Rio. But this is what I'm saying, guys, as well. Don't think this is a video saying that First Shot Rio is the best soldier in the game. Because, you know what? We all know who has that crown. Who's had that crown for a long, long time. However, one person who just deserves a mention is First Shot Rio. Because she's so cool. And got a cowboy hat. Do you know, Urban Assault doesn't have a cowboy hat. So, that's the thing. Alright, don't die. We've got quite a long time left as well on the, uh, on the shield. Oh, that blaster might be the death of us. Or not. <laughs> We've had like next to no health for ages. Somehow we're still alive. I'm sorry. Oh, someone got us another jukebox part. God. No one will ever love you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm shutting this down. Good. 
Alright, how is it against the Smasher? See, the Smasher, I wouldn't normally use this. With a Smasher, I'd switch to the Spectre. Get in close and just let rip. Like so. And then I go back to the Deathstalker for everything else. It just doesn't see... It has got the damage against Mist Monsters on it. Just the Spectre just unleashes hell much, much faster. Much deadlier. Warcry in 18 seconds. If you've not got Warcry up, then, you know, first shot reel is going to fall short a lot of the time in comparison. So, look, there you go. Silent Spectre. Quick reload and melted. Gone. <laughs> Melting Smashes. That should be what the video is called. Hey, troops, welcome back to the Latana Army, and today we are Melting Smashers. <laughs> oh, we've got them coming up this side now. I think the trap at the bottom has kind of took most of them out. Let's just put two more up here. Oh, come on. There you go. I mean, for the sake of 41 seconds, probably not the most efficient uh, way or most cost-effective way of using traps. But it doesn't matter. Right, so this is a silent spectre moment then. So shockwave for the little bit of wave clear that you have got there. Chuck a grenade up there. Pop war cry as soon as it comes up. Not possible. Will any second. Whoa. There it is. Turret's up. Oh, man down. Why didn't I use the... Uh, I don't know why I didn't use the uh, healing potion there. I'm up. All right, well, you can get me up. That's better. That works. There we go. All right, so let's just keep in then. So because we're up close now, now's when we use the Spectre. And we use the uh, Shockwave as well. There we go. Good we're good. Job, <laughs> So, good success overall, but nice definitely fun to ever. use and can always hold our own. So, super, super good. We had a decent team there as well. All right, so let's have a look at what rewards we got for that then. Okay then, so reward-wise, we got level 4 mission rewards. We got some schematic XP, we got some epic perk up, we got some people, and we got 99 gold. We also got set the world on fire, which gives us 100 fire up. And then we also got, there was a lot of fire husks in that one. And then we also got Eye of the Storm and some more road trip tickets. Now we opened a ton of llamas this morning, so we probably not got any of them left. No, we don't. We're still not quite there yet. 361 of 500. But I'll just quickly show you those guns that we were using right there. Let's go in the backpack. So if we look in there, this is the Death Stalker that we've got. So if I inspect that, we've got 90% crit damage on there and 25 crit rating. We've also got 50% reload speed on there, element energy damage on there as well. That's the Mist Monster damage. I still don't use it much against Husks because I just think the Silent Spectre is better. And then Headshot Eliminations cause an explosion, damaging enemies within 0.5 tiles. So that is a bit of a beast right now. So that works really, really well with First Shot Rio. I like the little Nocturnal thing that it's got going off down there with the kill count on it. And... If you look on there as well, look, 40% critical hit chance and then 165% damage, which is absolutely bats. And then the Silent Spectre, which is my favorite weapon. So we've got favorite hero, which is first shot Rio. Favorite weapon is this one, Silent Spectre. And if you look on there again, 45% critical, uh, critical hit chance, 165% hit damage. And what I've got on there, this is a crit build, so I've got crit rating, crit damage, damage to afflicted, and also causes affliction, so they work really well together. I think snared may work even better for this weapon, maybe that's one to look at in the future. But this, if this was reload speed, instead of magazine size, then that would work well on first shot Rio as well. At the minute, look, it's got a magazine size of 52, so you're not going to get the buffs as fast as what you're going to get it on the Stalker. The Stalker, if we look at that one, magazine size is 15, so you're constantly reloading, which means you're constantly unlocking first shot Rio's perks, which would make it absolutely phenomenal. Okay then guys, so that's all we've got time for then, so that's first shot Rio, like I said, I just wanted to share with you guys my favourite hero, but as I said at the start of the video, let me know who your favourite hero is, and give me a little reason why as well, a lot of people just put, you know, U-A-H, and then that's the comment, I'll, you know, I, I, I like to read every single comment that comes through, so I'd love to know your reasons as to why, you know, that hero is your favourite, a lot of people, you know, more than what you probably think, are really liking Ragnarok at the minute, and he's probably worth, you know, in there, if you want to put Ragnarok, tell me why, tell me why Ragnarok, or why you find Ragnarok, so awesome because I would absolutely love to know but guys if you're not part of the Latana army already make sure you hit that subscribe button feel welcome to join us in the discord there is a link down below as I put in every single video and I'll catch you guys on the next video thanks for watching guys